Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. We got some more new inventory to check out tonight. Some cool stuff, like I said, I've been had, I've had tons of cars and trucks coming in, having trouble keeping up, bringing you all this new inventory. So we're gonna get two of them on tonight's video. Starting off with this 1960 Chevy Apache 10 half ton two wheel drive long bed pickup. Now this is 1960, the first year of this body style, which obviously used this unique grill with four headlights. They used in 60 and 61, however the insert part was different. This being a 60, it had these three painted bars in it, as opposed to the aluminum Chevrolet in it like the 61 did. This old pickup's been sitting for a long time, come off of an old farmstead. It's rough, but it's got a lot of good pieces on it. Just like I just we just looked at the unique 60 grill. A few dings and dents, but a nice solid grill. Hood's missing, engine's apart, has been for decades. They probably needed pieces off of this thing for something else around the farm, so it got robbed. The rest of this truck mostly intact, other than the seat, still has the Apache 10 emblems on it. Has the typical 60 to 60, 60, 60 to 66 Chevy front fenders where they're are basically gone. <laughs> I've almost every single one of those fenders rusts right there, and they're almost all completely gone. Take a look <coughs> inside of this truck. The seat is missing, but the dash and everything, all the rest of the components are still pretty much there. The wood's gone out of the bed on this thing, but like I said, this came off an old farmstead. We've got old barbed wire, old rails, all kinds of, a little bit of junk in the back of this thing. The bed on this truck really looks pretty solid. It's, it's dented up a little bit back here. Something must have backed into it. But overall, the bed doesn't look too bad. It's got this wraparound type bumper on the back that kind of tucks up under the edge. Tailgate looks pretty good. Great looking patina type tailgate. Still read the Chevrolet very clearly on the tailgate. We look at this side of the truck, the bed looks great over here. It looks nice and straight on this side of this long bed fleet side pickup. And we can get a good look at how that bumper wraps all the way around, all the way up to the fender well. Inside of the, over here, we can still see it's all intact with the dash cluster, horn button, keys even still hanging in the ignition on this thing. So there's the first one on this video, the 1960 Chevy Apache 10. Now, like I said, I've had so much stuff coming in, we're gonna squeeze two of them into this video. So let's head off over this way and go check out a cool old Buick as well. So this whole section here, you can see a lot of Pontiacs in here. That's because this whole area here is going to be 1959 to 1970 full-size GM cars. I started with Pontiac, that's why you can see a lot of Pontiacs sorted there. Lots of pickup beds that have been coming in. There was just room to sit them. 67 to 72 Chevy fleet, or excuse me, step side short bed, square body Chevy dually bed, 48 to 52 Ford big bed F2, F3, uh, 60 Chevy short bed fleet, short bed international. Like I said, sometimes this stuff just gets stuck wherever I've got a little bit of space and that's kind of what happened there. But right behind me, we're coming up on a 1964 Buick Wildcat that I just picked up. Once again, this old car has been sitting for a really long time. Somebody pulled the old nail head out of this thing years ago. Hood's been gone probably since they pulled the motor out of it. And basically everything under the hood's just kind of sat there and deteriorated. They took the front seat out of it, but other than that, this car is still pretty much all here. Lots of nail head parts inside the car. Probably, maybe off this engine or another nail head, but the valve covers, four barrel setup, air cleaner, all kinds of miscellaneous nail head pieces. Dash and stuff is still intact on this car. It did have air. And another kind of unique feature about this 64 Wildcat is it had a factory tilt column an accessory you don't see very often in this era. To have a factory tilt column in one of these cars. One thing cool about the Wildcat, they use this black badge with the Wildcat head on it in the early to mid 60s on these. It's got some Dodge flipper hubcaps on the rear that I thought were kind of unique. Somebody obviously added at some point in this car's life. We come on around the back, it still is intact back here, the rear bumper, the broad tail panel, which this was a Wildcat trim panel between the tail lights. 
And over here on the passenger side of the car, about the same. The trims here, got another one of those Dodge type flipper hubcaps on there, which is pretty unique. We can get a better look at the Wildcat emblem over here. This one's much better preserved than it was on the other side, where you can really see the, the kind of almost the snarling cat on the Wildcat badge. Something else that was unique to the 64 Wildcat were these fender louvers. Wildcat was the only car that used those in 64 for Buick as well. And the nose here, the grill and everything was all Wildcat as well. So these were kind of a unique car with a lot of the trim packages and things like that. So anyway, there you go. That's what we've got. Like I said, so much stuff coming in, squeezing in two of them. So I hope you guys liked it. If you had questions about the Wildcat, the uh, C10, or any of the other 1500 plus cars and trucks we've got on the ground here, give me a call, 620-786-4428 having a short conversation about your project, year, make, model, body style, or what you're looking for for a project. I need all that information to know if I may have something here that might be able to help you out. You like this video, you like old cars, you like old trucks, we've got a few of them around to check out. So be sure to check out the channel, Nobody Show. Definitely click that subscribe button and definitely click that notification button so you know when we go live because we do a lot of cool live stuff on here as well. So that's what we've got for you tonight. More new inventory, tons more to come. I got a lot more stuff to pick up. We got a lot more cool videos coming, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss any. Thanks for watching, everybody.